Hey guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to use Adobe Illustrator to create a uh, medallion or an ornament or um, a piece of jewelry that you can make with our laser cutter. So I opened up um, our Adobe Illustrator and our K K Kings Park High School laser cutter template. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is establish what size my, uh, what I'm going to carve out, what I'm going to laser etch or laser cut is going to be. So I'm just going to do a three and a half by three and a half. So I'm going to click on this ruler and drag down what's called a guideline and I'll get it right to here and then I'll do another one a vertical guideline for three and a half. Okay so here you could actually type in the numbers if you want 3.5 whoops x is going to be 3.5 Okay, that works there on that one. And this one, let's see. All right, I was close. I'm just going to make this exactly 3.5. Okay. And again, it's just a guide. Okay. So I'm going to um, put in my image. So by doing that, that I saved previously is going to be image place. And I'm going to use a, a tree of life image that I found. Here's a preview of it. If I go to large icons, this is the image. I'm going to put it here, and it's going to be big. So to scale it, watch what happens if you just click on this anchor and scale it. It's going to scale on uniformly. It's going to get all distorted. So edit, undo, scale. If I hold down the shift key and drag it down, it scales uniformly. So I could bring it up here, hold down the shift key, scale it, get it close to my spot here, scale it. Okay, so now I'm going to I'm gonna zoom in on my workspace here. So I'm going to kind of center this on my work screen. I think that's pretty good. And then I'm going to hold down Control and Plus on the number pad. Control Plus, Control Plus, and I'll scale up. Whoop. I'll pan this a little bit. And then Control Plus. Okay, so now what I have here, this is called a roster image. You can see it's pretty pixelated. So we have to make this into a sharp image. Um, I think possibly like a vector image. So what we're gonna do is it's selected. You could see right here. I'm going to go to window and image trace. Where is that? Um, I'm sorry. Yes, image trace. Okay, so I'm going to take the image trace tools, just drag them over here. And with the preview button checked in, I'm going to drag the slider. So you can just see it right now. It took this image and basically outlined it pretty accurately. You can experiment with less or more, and you may notice a difference. Things may disappear. You see how now it got pretty, it, it's, it's a little bit, raggedy okay and then here i'll let it go if i go too much it'll probably turn all black okay not a big change there getting a little bit thicker actually i think that's kind of nice that one okay so i'm going to uncheck preview and then i'm going to hit trace okay so now what I have to do is click on expand, okay? So this will then convert this image and you can see I have these like paths. I'm gonna close out image trace. I'm sorry, then I can actually do a ungroup. You can also right click on it and go to ungroup, okay? All right, now I'll close out image trace. So let's just go to the tutorial, okay? So we use shift to uniformly scale our image with the image selected, we went to image trace, clicked on the preview, once satisfied, once satisfied, unselect preview and click on trace. After image tracing, click on the expand button, which we did, then right click on your image and select on group. Okay, now they want to, now we're going to click on the magic wand tool and select a white portion of the image. Um, then we're gonna hit delete on the keyboard and drag our image off the artboard to see if it still has a background. So let me show you what this means. If I were to, take this and drag it over, you can see that it still has a white background. We cannot cut this. We need to make this a transparent background. 
So I'm going to do an edit, undo my move to bring it back. I'm going to click on the magic wand tool here, and I'm going to click on a white spot right here, okay, of my image. And then I'm going to hit the delete key. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the selector, and I'm going to select my image. And now if I do a test drag, you can see that it is transparent. Okay, so edit, undo, move. Okay, so for, for this example, I want this to be burned into the wood or engraved into the wood. And I would like a circular cut, so it's like a medallion or a coaster. So to make a circle, I'm going to use the ellipse tool. Now, they don't have a circle tool in uh, Illustrator. It's called an ellipse tool. Okay, that you have a rectangle tool and an ellipse tool. But I want to make a circle. So what I'm going to do is move my mouse to about the, the center here. You may get a snap. It's saying center right there. And I have to hold down. Let me double check my notes. Okay, hold down the Alt and Shift key to drag the circle. So I'm going to find that center. And then if I hold down Alt and Shift, well, I'll show you what happens if I don't. I get a strange ellipse like so. Okay, we don't want that. So edit undo. So I'm going to go back to center. Try to find that center. Uh, you can see it's a little tricky. I'm still new to the software. Oh, right there. So Alt Shift and I can drag my circle around and think about how much of a border you want everywhere. Boom, okay. So this circle has a fill, okay? And the fill right now is black. I'm going to change this fill to a transparent. And now I could still see my, my image. I also, if I want this to be a cut line, okay? I need to change the stroke to 0 0.001. Now when I take the selector and I click off the object, you can see I have a thin thousandth of an inch stroke circle around here. Okay, this is it. This will now cut the circle out of the wood and engrave this image into my piece of wood. Okay, so you would just do a file, save. Okay, and um, I just, over, you would give it a good name. Sorry, file, save as. Whoops. I just overwrote my copy here. So file, save as, and I would give this a good name in my folder. Then you're going to probably have to save this into our Dropbox. And then once you're done, I will pick it up from the laser cutting computer and we will get your piece of wood and we will cut it. All right, guys, thank you very much. I hope this, I can stop this.